So, uh, I might have gotten into a bit of controversy. Thankfully, though, there's not much that a good My Bad All can't fix. And to make up for it, I'll be going over 50 super duper real facts about the Hive. Number 1. The Hive is located in the Star Swept Valley, which is in the Eastern Luminant. The Star Swept Valley may not have always been a desert. This is most evident when looking at the ends of the island and seeing dense forests. This may have something to do with Life Weave. Life Weave is the power to take life from one area and transfer it into another. This is how the Hive created the constructs and the Great Hive Trees. The Hive also supposedly uses Life Weave to upgrade their boats. Life Weave can also be used to revive people. However, if your soul has perished in the depths, you will turn into a monster. Life Weave is a dev spec used by Yaya Fino. We received a much weaker version of this called Dawnwalker. Life Weave is also an enchant that does a variety of things, however, it is currently unobtainable. Zithery Vem Misery Deary, formerly known as Zithery Vem Reback Deary, or just Yaya Fino, is the leader of the Hive both in lore and the in-game guild. Their armor is a clear reference to Scaramouche from Genshin Impact. They are also a Heliodar. Hive constructs can also use Life Weave. Life Weavers are the only ones able to make enchants, making the Hive a monopoly, and the reason why Laplace wants all your random enchants. Laplace shares the same last name as the Hive leader. They may or may not be related. The Hive consists of Vesperians, Ganymedes, and Chrysids, although most Chrysids seem to have migrated elsewhere. All of these races are based off of small critters. Chrysids are moths, Vesperians are beetles, and Ganymedes are snails. Very fitting for a hive, although it seems like any race is allowed as a Heliodar is a leader. Vesperian masks are grown organically. The masks can take damage. This could also be a figure of speech. The masks seem to have their own place in culture, representing a set of ideals. Furthering this, masks may be held onto as a sort of charm. The focal point of these presumably famous statues are the masks, once again proving that they are symbolic. Vesperians and Ganymedes are the original founders of the Hive. They have supposedly been working together since before the tides. If you remove a Vesperian's mask, you can actually see that they have Ganymede eyes. This might make them related. There are a total of 18 Vesperian masks. There are three different mask styles, totaling to around 816 combinations. There is more than one Great Hive Tree. According to Reject, there is a total of four, and this is definitely not the best one. That would likely be the very first one. The trees were constructed to avoid the rising tides. It's clear that the Hive Folk don't like the depths, and they despise anyone who worships it. Life Weavers seem to have the power to give inanimate objects souls. Now this makes me wonder if enchants have souls. Behind this bookcase is a breakable wall that leads into a room that I can only believe was used for testing. In almost the exact same spot is a breakable shelf that hides a secret room. It also has the only phonograph in the game. The water in this pond is completely drinkable, as long as you have a canteen. There has been no explanation on how washing your face opens the gate at Hive. All we can confirm is that it is in place to make sure that people cannot steal from the Hive. Although that seems to be their number one problem with the Etrian guards, who manage to steal their life-weaving artifacts nearly every day. The Hive Lord Hubris is the only weapon in the game that is an unmodified model of a mob. If you have negative rep with the Hive, they will spawn about 3-4 to four Hive constructs on you as well as an entire army's worth of hive guards to chase after you. Safe to say that the hive doesn't fuck around. And that's about everything I could find that was interesting about the hive. Let me know if there's anything that I didn't list in the comments below, and dropping a sub and a like would always help me out. Anyways, thanks for watching, and have a good day guys.